Just for the hell of it, here's a quick video about how to use both Excel and MATLAB to compute normal probabilities. So let's suppose you have, uh, here's a picture of a normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation one in this case. So let's start off and let's suppose that you wanted to compute uh, a probability associated with its normal distribution. Let's say you wanted to compute this area to the left of two. So in other words, you wanted to compute the probability that X is less than or equal to two. So in probabilistic lingo, that's the CDF of X, right? Uh, so in Excel, the command for computing the CDF is norm.dist. The first argument is the X coordinate. Uh, so in this case, two. The second argument's the mean of the normal distribution. The third one's a standard deviation. And the fourth one tells uh, Excel whether the, you want it to compute a cumulative probability or just uh, the density function. So if I put true here, this point 977725 would be the right answer for the shaded area in this picture. Whereas if I put false here instead, this number right here would, would be the, the height of this, this particular point in my graph, right? So the height there would be 0 0.05 33991, all right? So uh, the other type of problem you sometimes need to use technology for is inverse type problems where you are actually in this picture given an area, like let's say here we were given that we wanted to find an area of point, uh, I don't know, 02 say, right? So we want to know the lower 2% of the distribution. So we know that this area is 0.02, but what we don't know is what this X is. So this is an inversion type problem where we want to find X in the expression probability X less than or equal to little x equals 0.02. Right. So in Excel, we could do this using the norm.inverse function. The first argument here now, in, in contrast to the previous one, is the area of the region, the area given, in this case 0 0.02, whereas the, uh, the second two arguments are still the same. So this answer tells me that that, that line right here should occur at x equals negative 2.05375. Right. In MATLAB, MATLAB has similar functions, except their uh, norm CDF without a period, basically. So if I wanted to do the first problem from the previous example in MATLAB, just be norm CDF 202. Whereas if I wanted to do the previous problem using inverse, it's just norm inv. And so I would just put in the same arguments from uh, Excel that we used before, get the same answer of negative 2.0537.